Hello guys, here's a video of this uh, truck we put a blow through in. It has a custom bed in these wide wheels. And it's lowered a little bit. I think it, the wheels are 28 inch. He had two uh, ZV615s. And he had that big old, uh, those wheel wheels in the back and the hump in the middle. So we didn't have too much space so we had to make a regular enclosure. So there's just pictures of the, the vehicle. Here's the start of the enclosure. Top view. And then we're here I have a friend of mine help me do the blow through with cutting it. That's how we cut the bed right there. The blow through installed. More pictures. It's just a regular port enclosure because we didn't have that much space for a a fourth order to make it correctly and we had it we had to make the box as correct as possible with the space allowed in the vehicle the top is plexiglass it's just a plastic uh, protective film still over it now you can see inside of it that's how it looks the vehicle we grind line it uh all the walls are double walled you can't see in the photos but they're all doubled the the enclosure for strength and we did rhino line it. And you can kind of see right here with the lights flashing, the LEDs installed. The white is a bunch of sunlight coming in through the back, through the bed. He's gonna get a bed cover eventually, but he has to get one, uh, look for one that fits because the vehicle is kind of custom. This is us putting the rhino liner treatment on. We got three layers. And all the wood is birch. And thanks for watching, guys. And at the end of the video, you can see my Facebook and Instagram. You can click that and you can see more pictures and videos of other builds that we have done. And I'll, st I'll start trying to upload more. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, also, uh, as far as the wiring we did not wire the vehicle he just wanted the enclosure built he was going to add the batteries and the amp i think it was a salt 6k and do the wiring all by himself he just wanted the enclosure built thanks